Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Global Happiness Today. The Vice President of Yemi Sibajo is one person who, doesn't, who do not believe that Nigeria will break up. Do not forget that in Nigeria already, more ethnic groups, more nations are beginning to call for Nigerians break up. And at least, better still, they are calling for a referendum to decide their fate, whether to remain in Nigeria or or to leave but right now president yumi subadio have said to tackle out so many issues on this matter well before we go to the newspaper to find out exactly some of the things he has portrayed on we like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you say bell notification please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube let's quickly go straight into the news well the vice president professor yemi osibajo Senior Advocate of Nigeria, San, has taxed Nigerians with diverse grievances to leverage the benefit of dialogue and negotiation to resolve the differences and forge a pedestal of national unity. Stressing the significance of a sustained dialogue in a multicultural society as Nigeria, the Vice President added that building a nationhood requires leadership. It also requires leaders across every sphere, every sphere of influence to sacrifice personal interest and achieve a consensus that guarantees a win-win for all. He maintained that a sustained and productive nationhood gives access to diverse multi-ethnic strengths, provide opportunities to gain more from being together than otherwise. Professor Usibajo gave the charge in Abuja on Thursday, during the 10th anniversary of UFAC Dialogue Foundation, an organization devoted to the promotion of dialogue and a culture of peaceful coexistence. He said, and I quote, It's true that in the last two decades we faced several threats to our mutual coexistence. Violent extre extremism in the Northeast has resulted in the destruction and unfortunate loss of lives of many, banditry and kidnappings has traumatized families. Just also, we have seen secessionist agitations, especially in parts of the south and the east of Nigeria in particular. These affected and slowed down economic activities in those parts of the region. While warning against promoting underlying, underlying issues that give rise to insecurity, he said even though there are no simple solutions to these challenges, he however maintained that the federal government will effectively bring its full power to bear in tackling insecurity and its threats to collective existence. I quote him, Our government led by Mr. President is, is, frontally, is frontally confronting the security challenges and will relentlessly continue to do so, fully aware of their social and psychological impact on Nigerians everywhere, and we Nigerians, and we as Nigeria will surely prevail. In many instances, these are factors of sheer greed, naked criminality. There are also genuine grievances on suspicions and fears, feelings of exclusion and marginalization. These understandings are differences of opinion, all of which can be resolved to the benefit of the whole through sustained dialogue and negotiation. The fact remains that nationhood is a hard one that requires lots of leaders who are willing to sacrifice To achieve a consensus that is win-win for all. Leaders not only from the from within government, but across every sphere of influence. We need great personal examples along religious and ethnic lines more than ever before. Men and women who will go one one step ahead of the rhetoric to demonstrate the true meaning of brotherhood of brotherhood. True meaning of brotherhood and why the common humanity that binds us as Nigerians is greater than the differences that makes or mars us. The truth is that living and work together as one people 
It's just a matter of self-interest because we stand to gain more from being together than otherwise. You see what I just stated. Uh, this is quite deep. Uh, this is very motivational as well. I also don't believe in impossibility as a person. But there has to be um, moves. A lot of Nigerians are talking and some of them are actually very angry. You know, some persons in on other on other platform believe that this is more talk and the, to them talk is cheap. Much as uh, the, uh, the vice president Yemi Osibajo has been known to be very positive minded over a lot of issues. Nigerians are earnestly looking for practical solutions to all these things. I'm not saying these things cannot be corrected. Honestly, it can, but you take like you rightly say collective effort. Like what is happening? If it's, except we don't want to tell ourselves the truth. If you watch some of the videos of bandits and not, you notice that some of even the some of the um, members of the public members, as in the local indigenous society, in there, sometimes they are even more willing to give information, classified information to bandits than even to security agents. Sometimes you see them in a willingly succumbing to bandits. Just a handful or two to have been fighting against it. You just notice that either through fear or through compromise, there seem to be more people, you know, enjoying the banditry issue there. But it's just the common man that's feeling the pains. It has gone so deep that that sacrifice the vice president is talking about has to come from all Nigerians. Look at the level of debt. Look at the level of banditry. Kidnapping is now the order of the day. There is hunger in the land. The value of Nara have so depreciated that what it can buy some 20 years ago is no longer what it buys right now. Nigerians are wondering which way. If you go through this comment section, you begin to wonder that Nigeria have, Nigerians as a whole, a whole lot of them, an average Nigeria out there, have lost hope in Nigeria. If you listen and watch the number, number of Nigerians quote unquote willing to jackpa what I mean by jackpa willing to run away from Nigeria for whatever reasons because some of them believe that there's no way some of them have given up on Nigeria that's to tell you the level of decadence even in the country and the, you know one of the things that make Nigeria thick is patriotism any country in the world is patriotism but when the people themselves don't believe in the country they believe the country is marginalizing them. They believe that the country is no more protecting them. The cardinal rules of making a country that makes a country sovereign, applies uh, protection of life and property, protection of the borders, and some of these rules and some of these, uh, uh, you know, some of these po policies and principles have been broken down severally. Where people have been kidnapped severally, borders have been compromised, Fulani has been from other parts of the country, are finding their way easily, free course and hindered into the country. These are things that make Nigerians worry. And the question is Nigerians are asking, how practicable is bringing Nigeria together? Yes, what binds us together, if sustained, makes us more beautiful. There's beauty in diversity, if properly harnessed. But the question is, is it properly harnessed? Nigerians are really bitter online. A whole lot of them are talking. Like somebody said, there's nothing brilliant and intelligent about what he's saying. See what somebody's saying here. He, he, what he's saying is very brilliant and intelligent. But the question is, how practicable is this brilliancy in the recent...